Hey guys, welcome back to another Ring of Honor review. And um, I'm still behind. Sorry. I thought I was going to get caught up and then things just happened. I didn't get caught up on them. So. Um, I do want to review starting from where I started to do Ring of Honor uh, TV. So I'm going to grab my papers. Put these up here. Yeah, we okay. got so I started watching it, and uh, last time I believe I did, I think it was like 4:15 and 4:28, something like that. I don't remember. Uh, ROH TV, um, and this I could have swore it was the 5:2, uh, 2016. I mean that can't be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, 5:2, 16. But then the next one that I have recorded. Or I have written down here is 512. So does that make really sense? That doesn't really make no sense to me. But anyway, that's what I've written down. So it's kind of weird. Um, so ROH TV for 52 2016. I think it may be 54. I don't want to know. Um, just just work with me here. This is old anyway. So um, Honor Rising. There, there's st they were still showing Honor Rising. Um, on this TV, which is really good. Um, wasn't a very good ROH TV, in my opinion. Uh, kind of a letdown, so I kind of wanted to fast forward a lot. And I, but I watched the whole entire thing. It was pretty good. Um, starts out with Moose and Michael Elgin. Uh, and I'm going to butcher these names. Uh, Tamaoki Honma. I have no idea. And Hiroshi Tanahashi. They took on the Bullet Club, but it wasn't the Bullet Club you think of because if you don't follow uh, ROH, you're probably gonna know, not going to know any of these names. Uh, Cody Hall, which is kind of cool, Scott Hall's son. Um, Cody Hall, he was he was the first one to come out, but they all came out together. Uh, it was an eight-man tag, and it's Cody Hall, Tamatanga, Bad Luck Fail, and Yajiro Takahashi. I I'm guessing the last one because the only... Okay, so here's the thing about ROH. I'm sitting there trying to write... I I'm writing this... Look at this. Look at this. I write down stuff. I write down what's going on. Okay, so I can read this back because I'm never going to remember all these names because they're new to me. Until I get better at, at knowing the names, I'm going to have to write it down. And still, I'm old, so i got to write stuff down so I don't forget. So... Um, I try and catch his names as they come up on screen. And sometimes ROH like puts it on there for like ten seconds and then throws it off the screen. So you're, you're giving me like Japanese names. I'm supposed to catch that in, in ten seconds or less. You know, like there's no way. So the Bullet Club came out and they had all these four guys get in the ring. You know what comes across the screen? The Bullet Club. And then they're mentioning their names like very quickly in passing so i wanted to know who was going to be in there so there you go i had to look these people up and go by the looks of who was in there um, and i'm pretty sure it was takahashi um but anyway moose wins uh moose gets the win with a spear on hall uh the match was okay it was pretty good it gave a showing of everybody um, they kind of went to commercial break, though, and Tonga, his whole entire time in the ring was on a commercial break. So, thank you. Great, great editing, ROH. Did a great job. I would have loved to see Tonga a little more. Anyways. Uh, but, yeah, Moose is, Moose is awesome. I've seen him in the ring before, I think, but not really that much. Um, Mike Logan, he's awesome. I've seen him in the ring before. Um, I was just kind of watching ROH in passing. Uh, the other guys, I, well, I seen Tanahashi, I believe, a couple weeks ago, or a couple times ago when I was watching it. Um, Cody Hall, I never seen him. I remember seeing him in like a documentary kind of thing when uh, Scott Hall was coming out with him at like an indie show. So it must have been before. It was must have been like a while back before he hit it, made it to New Japan. Um, but it's kind of cool that Cody Hall's going that way. Uh, going to New Japan and learning his trade that way because it's kind of good because then he gets good there and when he finally does make it to the WWE which I think he will eventually 
that he's going to be, you know, he's going to be well trained. He's going to be a good athlete before he shows up in the WWE, and really, most likely, might not even have to go through NXT. But he might. They may just do that to have him learn the WWE way before he comes in. So, who knows? In a couple of years, Cody Hall could be in the, the WWE. Um, but yeah, the match is pretty decent. Moose won with a spear on Cody Hall. So. Cody Hall botched trying to do the razor's edge at one point because I think he was actually supposed to hit it. But I don't know if he was supposed to somehow kind of screw it up. I don't have no idea. It looked like a botch to me. So hopefully it wasn't a botch because that came out really horrible. Um, then we get a promo with uh, Leth uh, Jay Lethal and the Truth Tr Martini, um, which is kind of weird because of, knowing this and knowing what happened to Truth, it's just kind of weird having it all backwards and stuff. I don't understand the ROH with that thing. I, I don't understand. Like, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of how they do their TV tapings and stuff like that. It's just not. They should do a lot more updating because they're all over the place, like, in terms of taping wise and putting stuff on TV. It's just weird. They did a promo with Jay Lethal and the Truth Martini, Truth Martini, whatever, doing funny things around Japan. They showed a clip of the. Uh, I think Dalton Castle and the Briscoe brothers doing things around town as well that we've seen the previous weeks. A little bit of here and there. Uh, but then, really cool, kind of leading up to the pay-per-view, I believe that happens, it, well, at this point, it was like, see, this is where it gets confusing. That's why I'm saying like the tapings and like that doesn't make much sense. And the date on the DVR didn't make much sense because the taping was the this this next week that I have is five twelve. It says I think something was up. Something's up with the dates. I don't know what's going on with that. But the pay per view happened on the eighth. Does that make any sense to you? So, but I think it will. See, this is where I'm confused. And, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm confused. I'm so confused right now. Um, yeah, I have no clue. I have no clue what's going on. Because it, it says 5, well, 5-8 five, would be June uh, June 8th. And they talked about May 8th. So I think they're, like, way behind. So, see, that's why I don't like about ROH, and, and that's why I'm kind of against kind of like the ROH TV, because it's not very good. It's not up to date. You're watching something that's old. So... How do I get current ROH stuff? Do I have to like how do you do it? Can you watch it on can you watch like tape results like on the website or I don't know how, understand how you do that? Like how do you even know what's going on? That's my thing. I don't understand. They need to do a better taping their stuff, I think, or something. I have no idea. But they show a super card of honor, they show a match from that uh four one from four one sixteen, so it's just four one. Uh, 2016, and they showed Leo Rush, who won the top prospect tournament. And normally he would face the TV champion, um, but because of the TV champion, um, Tamahari Ichi? Ichi? Yeah, I know. I butchered the name. Yeah, I know I did. Um, but he had, uh, I guess, current, he had um, current dates already in place to wrestle other places, so he couldn't wrestle him at this event. So he, he got a shot actually at Jay Lethal, the World Heavyweight Champion, um, for winning this. So Leo Rush got defeated by Jay Lethal. It looked like an amazing match. Um, they didn't show all of it. They showed a clip from the ending of the match. Um, and then they go on to show this this feud that's happening between Colt Cabana and Jay Lethal, which is pretty cool. I'd love to see Colt Cabana. Um, and well, I'll, I'll talk about him here in a moment because that other video is going to be like really short because... There was nothing but highlights, so it's not going to take me long to go through it. Um, so, yeah, that looked pretty interesting. And then the main event for our Witch TV this week from Honor Rising was Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows. Probably their final match. Um, I, I would think so, unless they wrestled at uh, Global Wars for the last time uh, against the Briscoes. They wrestled Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows, part of the Bullet Club. To call on the Briscoes. Uh, Briscoes got the win. It was a pretty good match. It was an okay match. It looked very reminiscent of a match I seen the Briscoes wrestle against someone else. 
um, a while back ago. That's what kind of made me think, like, hmm, kind of looked a lot like this other match I've seen with them. Um, but the match was okay. The match was good. It was decent. Uh, Briscoe's got the win. Uh, didn't really do anything for Anderson Gallows. It didn't look very good in this match, I'll tell you that, to be honest. Um, and uh, the Briscoe's got some mean shots in them on these guys. So, like I said, they, they made them look like trash. It made Anderson and Gallows look like trash in this match. Um, I don't know how Anderson and Gallows would feel good after this match because this didn't look good. Uh, whew. Take a drink of this real quick. So, this video ain't going to be that long really either. That's all I got to say, really. Kind of lackluster ROH TV for this week for 5-2. Um, like I said, the dates, I, I don't know what's going on with the dates. I don't know if a week was skipped or something. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. Because seven days from this would be nine. So I don't know if somehow the ROH TV got flipped around on or got switched to another day or something. I have no idea what's going on. Um, but, yeah. This this was this week. There ain't really much else to say. Leave comments down below uh, what you think about uh, if you've seen this ROH TV episode, if you liked it, um, and uh, if you've seen The Honor Rising. I don't know if it's on like demand or whatever. I have no idea. Uh, if you've seen the whole entire show, uh, let me know what you think about it and about all those wrestlers I talked about uh, in the uh, program that I talked about today. What do you think about all the wrestlers? What about Tama Tonga? Is he a really good wrestler? I don't really know because I didn't get to see him wrestle. All right. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to record the next episode, and then I'll be watching some more of the episodes uh, in the coming days to get ready to record the final three episodes to get caught up, hopefully, by next week. I'm going to do it. I promise, guys, I'll get caught up. Um, anyways, see you guys later, and keep rocking.